Today we want to go into a very interesting chapter or subsection called Bernoulli Principle. You see, in this Bernoulli Principle, first of all, we need to know a few things. Uh, moving fluid can be consists of gas, or you can call it air, airflow. It can be liquid. Liquid is quite general because it can be anything at all, and of course water. But it can be anything except solid. And in this chapter, Bernoulli principle is something to do with the difference of pressure between high pressure region as well as low pressure region. So what is the concept of pressure? If pressure can be defined by 10 kits inside the room. But this room is different because it has a, a opening and another opening. And there is a blower, perhaps some kind of fan. Okay, this fan is blowing, so most some of the kids has been skated out. Skated out means uh, being blown off the room. But before being blown off the room, are they having some kind of uh, moving about randomly? So they move about randomly, internally they have high pressure. So if you start blowing, after blowing, Here you have less kits. When less kits bump into each other, the internal pressure is a bit slower. So we can make some kind of a small conclusion that fast moving air will create a region of low pressure. Okay. Fast moving air because it blown off most of the air particles represented by kids. Okay. So we have we have already uh, created a region of low pressure. So this is the region of low pressure here. Because of the less air particle so as we move on we want to consider three cases of Bernoulli principle using three branches water tube okay in this case we have two side being close uh, two side close the the entrance or the opening or the the other opening of this water tube and it's closed already so the water inside is uh, still water the water is not moving at all. When water is mo not moving at all, the pressure at all points are the same. The pressure at all points are the same. So the point 1, point 2, point 3, the pressure 1 equals to pressure 2 equals to pressure 3. So if the pressure is the same, the external atmospheric pressure is acting the same on the water level. So it won't go any deeper or it won't go any higher okay the pressure won't be extremely a lot to push it down the external atmospheric pressure won't be less to be overcome by the internal pressure so all of them have the same level of water because P1, P2, P3 same pressure and outside same external atmospheric pressure as well so we can say pressure is the same everywhere And we can also say the water and level is the same for all. Same for all.